Oh, there she goes. Yeah, She's got one already. Oh, Mick's got it. Look at that. Look at that. That is a big old boy. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. So today we're going to do a little rat job. They've got uh, some chickens in the back and the chickens have brought in some rats. So we've got here little Miss Abby. This is my buddy Justin's mink. And we're borrowing her because um, obviously all my mink are pregnant <laughs> or have babies. So we don't want to get them out when they have babies and risk something going wrong. So we're going to be using Abby today and uh, hopefully we'll get a bunch of rats. So wish us luck. One time. Before starting this rat job, we of course had to catch all the chickens and get them safely locked up so the mink wouldn't get them. After that, we had some boards back behind the shed that we needed to move. This made it a lot easier for the dog to snatch any fleeing rats and also made it less complicated for the mink. Alrighty, Abby girl. Find us a rat. Watch, watch. Did she go in? And looks like she might come back out. You might be right, but it's a pretty tight wood pile. I mean, there's space for them to go hide, but not really space for them to go live. Okay, we'll see in a minute. She she might just get bored and come right under. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, She's got one already. <laughs> see, oh, she missed it. Whap. Oh, Mink's got it. Oh, Mink's got it. Did she lose it? Or she got it. Oh, Mink's got it. Yeah, it's underneath that wood pot right there. Move that I little bit it. of wood. Get out. Come here. Watch it. Watch it. She's got it by the back end. She might lose it. Watch. 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 That's a watch. Oh, she's got it wrapped up. She's got the head. Good mink. Good mink. Oh, big male. Good job. Good mink. It's a little male, actually. Good mink. Good mink. <laughs> Good mink. Good job, There's Abby girl. There. Oh yeah, the one I saw was twice this size easily. Good mink, Abby girl. That's where that big rat disappeared, is that direction. Our first round already. Is she in or is she underneath? I think she's underneath. If you could go watch that corner again. Okay, something runs off the back. Oh, she's got another one. Oh, it's us. Get it. Good girl. She's like, the mink had it. I'm not stealing it from the mink. Good dog. That was awesome. Did you see her watch it because the mink had it? Good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Out. This is that huge rat I was telling you about. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's the mama. That, no, it's the daddy. The oh, that is a big old boy. Good dog. <laughs> see, that should have been eating all my chicken food. Did you see her not getting it because the mink had it? That was so good. The mink went back underneath there. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, oh, there it is. Watch, watch right here. One. She's got one, but there's another one that yeah, went over. Mink's killing one. Also, come here, watch. Come here, watch. Yeah, we saw it run. That was awesome. Yeah, the mink just killed another one right there. Yeah. Yep, it's dead right there. Can you see? See the dead one? Oh, she's got another one. She had it. She still have it? You watch on the other side. Oh, there's this one. Oh, just missed it. Just ran that way. Okay. 
You saw the rat? Yeah. Right here, right here, Joe. It, just, it ran back under there. Hi. <laughs> Look, there's a rat. Well, it's like, come on this side, pup. There's one that popped out over here. Our side, too. They're running along these these slats, like you said. So they come out one side. Oh, there's two of them. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah, my dog could have got that one. <laughs> oh, here's another rat. Oh, get it. Oh, it's right here. It's coming. Did you get it? She got one, but she missed the big one. Here's an. Oh. Yeah, they're running in there. That's what she wanted. <laughs> she wanted a drink and a cool off. Yeah, you're hot, huh? <laughs> you're hot, huh, sweetheart? We should have brought a second link. There you go. Does that feel good? So you said you saw one go in the rock, in the wood pile? Yeah, exactly where the other one went. What's it? Come here, pup. Oh, here she's got it. Yeah. Oh, she lost it. Or missed it. Oh, she killed it. It's right here. She's like, but the mink's right there. Yeah, it's another one of the big ones. Oh, it went that way. Oh. Where, where? Oh, it's a clear. It went back under. Go, go run around that side, though, and watch. There's... Get me another one. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Come here. Good dog. Is the mink, some, is the mink thirsty? Here, oh, a... Good dog. That was saved the day, dog. <laughs> oh, I should bring your clean water over here. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> She's so funny. Have a nice little swim. <laughs> Mink are semi-aquatic mammals who in nature are accustomed to having constant access to water. So when hunting in temperatures above 70 degrees, it's important to keep a cool bucket of water on hand, both for them to drink and to swim around in to help cool off. Good girl. Good girl. On this side with Alsa or this side? Alsa, come here. Come here, Alsa. Oh, that was a huge one. It was sitting right there in the corner. Did it go after it? Yeah, it ran back over. It's running, it's running. Good girl, she got it. Good girl, bring it here. Wow, that's a big one. Good girl, bring it here. Good dog. Oh, that's a big one. Out, bring it here. Bring it here, out. I think it's a pregnant one. Holy rats. Yeah, it's a big pregnant one. Good job, auntie girl. So we're at seven. No, six, I can't count, six. Good job, Abby girl. You did good work. You did good work. Oh, you did good job. You did a good job, this Abby girl. You did a good job. Thanks for your help getting the rats. Alrighty, let's go home. That was a good success. Now, if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry. It has 242 pages of valuable information for anyone who's considering getting a mink themselves or really just want to learn about this incredible little animal.